Got a great looking stand of Silver King corn coming along. Just waiting for these ears to fill out and ripen up at this point. These in the middle didn't do quite as good as the ones on the outside. I don't know if that's a sunlight problem or a water problem or both. Our cucumber plant has about had enough. We're just about covered up in peppers though. We've got bell peppers, lots of jalapenos, and some banana peppers over here too. Some lunchbox orange and some lunchbox reds. This super sweet 100 plant right here has basically kept us covered up in tomatoes. There's not many on here right now because we just picked them, but man, this plant has been unbelievable. It came up out of the cage and then flopped over, and then you can see now a lot of these are headed back up towards the sun. It is a massive, massive plant. Look at all the green ones up here. Better boys are still doing pretty good for the most part, but it is so hot right now that everything's just kind of struggling. And we are on our third batch of bluebird eggs. I didn't know birds laid this many eggs. I thought they did it once a year and then they were done. This is batch number three. Today is Thursday and the girls are about to leave and they'll be gone all day long. So it's just me and my little sidekick. My pokey little sidekick. Hey buddy, you wanna help me water the pigs? Let's turn it on all the way. That's good. That's good right there. I don't know what he's doing. What are you doing? Brushing my feet. Okay. <laughs> oh, y'all were so dirty. <laughs> Those are some friendly animals. There's some resemblance between that dog and those pigs. You think Willie Man and the pigs look similar? Yeah. Why do you think that is? Because pigs get dirtier than dogs. Oh, okay. Well guys, I made a mistake with my butchering date. On a couple of videos ago, I mentioned that I was hoping to get these pigs to the butcher within the next two weeks or so, but I called the butcher and they can't get me in until August the 21st. So that's, what's today, July 27th? So these are gonna be some monster animals once they finally get to the butcher. <laughs> They're all going to the butcher except for this one right here. This is Sue. Big mud on the camera lens. I'm really just waiting for that hog waller to get a little bit more full. It's so important right now. It's been in the upper 90s really and the real feel or the heat index has been over 100 pretty consistently. So these pigs have got to have some place to be cool and they, they really enjoy this waller here. In fact, I came out here this morning, you saw and all four of them were just laying in it. They may have slept there overnight, I don't know, but um, you've got to make sure they're cool this time of year. It's pretty bad right now. Did you get it? Got it. Thank you. I saw a lot. I'm trying to get these pigs trained. This is, all this is, is a coffee can with corn and marshmallows in it. The corn is not really for them. The corn is just to make a lot of noise, but the marshmallows are for them for a treat. I'm trying to get them trained to this noise right here and sometimes they're scared of it and sometimes they come to me uh, they're starting to warm up to me which is a good thing so i'm hoping that if they ever get out at some point i'll be able to shake this and they'll come right back to me i think somebody in the comments gave me the suggestion of marshmallows and using something like this that makes racket so 
they seem to be getting a little bit more warmed up to me. Our next task is to make a waller out here too. Ideally, I would just drive my tractor in and scoop out a little spot right here, but that would be just pandemonium right here. And there's really not a whole lot of room for that anyway. So I'm gonna get a shovel and try to do it by hand. How many eggs did you find? Oh, just up in this door behind here. No, that's okay. How many eggs did you find? I don't know. Yes, you do. Count those eggs. Count them out loud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You were close. Are you broody? You're broody, aren't you? She has eggs too. I she just does. got I want to try to dig out this area right in here. This is kind of where I've been putting water and it's just mostly topsoil so the water just soaks straight down through but I know that there is a, a hard pan I guess you can say of red clay up under here several inches so let's see if we can at least dig out a little spot so that water will hold in one spot. They really need some water out here. They're in there panning. Don't have to go too far down in here until I hit that red clay right there. And hopefully that'll keep water or hold water a whole lot better than this topsoil. You can kind of see the transition right there. You got topsoil, maybe six inches, and then you get red clay. Poor things are roasting. I feel like those pigs are just about on the edge of overheating. They're in their shelter there, but the shelter's kind of hot too because it's like kind of out in the sun. So they desperately need this water. This is going to change their outlook on life immensely. They're coming. Ask me that again. What pigs are comfortable and what pigs are not comfortable? I don't think any of them were comfortable because they were all very hot. That just really changes their whole outlook on life and demeanor and now they're eating. They got in that little pool there and uh, got cooled off and instead of sitting in their house and just panting, they're uh, out here eating now. So that's a big improvement. See? I see. So guys, I'm using my four-year-old cameraman right now, and these are our apple trees. There was a video several months ago where he and I actually planted these trees, and they've been doing real well. But what I want to do is put like a little pool around these, a little bit better of a pool around these, so that when I water them, the water will stay kind of right around these roots here. And I want to explain what's going on with these blue jeans as well.
you think that's enough? I think that's enough. Okay. This is our blueberry patch right here. I kind of want to do the same thing. Just make a little moat around these trees so the water will stay. Come on and do this one now, buddy. That one's got plenty of water. So here's the reason that I put blue jeans. This is really just a cut up pair of blue jeans right here. I put these on these trees. I've got one on our maple tree out there as well and all three of these apple trees. But we have had trouble, even though this is kind of relatively close to our house, we've had trouble with the deer coming up right up here at night and just clipping the leaves off of these trees. That apple tree up there actually was totally stripped and thankfully it came back. But these these blue jeans, these strips of blue jeans, I put them on here and I put a little bit of this on there. This is malathion. It's a pesticide that smells just especially awful and it manages to repel the deer. They, I guess they just don't like the smell so they leave and it doesn't work of course forever. You have to keep redoing it but it lasts maybe a couple weeks. I'm not really sure. Um, stinks pretty bad <laughs> i can actually come out here 20 feet or more away and smell it it smells so bad so that's why i put these blue jeans on the trees it's very effective uh, for short-term deer repellent it is remarkable the difference that that waller made over there they have been out here eating and playing in the mud and now they're out there rooting and eating random things and doing stuff that pigs are supposed to do when they're not too hot. So it is the next morning at this point and I am happy to report that that totally changed the demeanor of these pigs out here. They were hot and just in their little hut and panting and just basically miserable doing nothing, just trying to stay cool and they weren't able to stay cool because there was no spot that was cool enough out here. But now, those are some noisy chickens. Now uh, they've got that waller and I showed you yesterday after they got in that waller they were out there rooting and eating. They ate so much more food yesterday than they normally eat because they were much cooler. You want pigs to eat lots of food because that's what packs on the pounds, right? Uh, so yeah, they're in a much better uh, situation now and I'm uh, happy to report that that waller is actually holding water much better than it was. We got down to that clay and it's holding water really really well so big improvement out here uh, so right now I'm on my way to do something uh, way different I'm up I'm headed to SE metals up in Woodbury Georgia and we are going to do some filming on how sawmill blades are made so if that pans out uh, you will see that hopefully on the next video I'm not sure don't always know the order of the videos but hopefully that'll be on the next one we're gonna take you through uh, from basically the beginning to the end on sawmill blades to show you how those are made so stay tuned for that one thank you for watching this one and I'll see you on the next one you hold this for me Ooh. You're filming if you want to film something. All right, thank you. Oh, I want to be the pig. You gonna do it? You gotta get closer to him. I'm not closer to them. Alright. No, I want to film lots of stuff. No. I need to go film something. Give my camera back. I'll give it back to you after a while, okay? What do you need to film? I need to film these apples.